tankers welcome back to the club in this video i will be talking about the m60 the tier 10 american premium medium tank this vehicle is right now available in the store or we can buy um, um, the keys for the lock boxes from the store and we can open some lock boxes and you are if you are the lucky one you will have this tank the lock boxes got three percent drop chance to get the m60 and other rewards if you want to know if those lock boxes are worth it or not um, i'm gonna link in this video description um, my uh, m60 lock boxes opening so do there your own opinion and now let's talk about the m60 we gonna start straight directly on the battlefield this time just to show you if this tank gonna fit to your playstyle or not if you wanna buy this tank you have to master this playstyle going in a hull down position and be very active you have to react very fast you have to play aggressive um yeah as we can see here i'm spotting for my team firstly but things gonna escalate very fast i will be playing more aggressive i will i mean move forward sneak my shot fall backwards and we have the enemy will not have the chance to aim on me and if they will try to aim on me, they will not pen me because I'm in a hull down position. I'm showing only a turret for them. And this is how, why this thing is made ever. So you have to play it like that. If not, if you don't think that this play style um, or this way how to play it fit to your play style, so don't go for this vehicle. Maybe you are just a heavy tank, a hull down vehicle. But with this tank, we need to be very fast. We need to, to keep always moving with this vehicle. Just get yourself a hull down position and keep firing all the time to help your team. Otherwise, it's going to be useless for your team. And it's going to be a pity if uh, yeah you go for this vehicle, but you don't play it like that. So look at this. I'm always looking around me in this hull down position. And yeah, firing my shots, making my damage. And yeah, helping my team to win battles. Okay, so here we go. One shot here, one shot there. Always looking around me, what's going on around me going back moving forward sneak a shot fall back so this is how we should play with this vehicle okay rolling back the Sheridan with that gonna miss his shot if you don't have those skills so please don't go for this vehicle you have really to master the playstyle of this tank and now I'm seeing that okay um, I cannot do no more damage from the position so turn around go in another hull down position shot bounce sneak another shot fall back etc so this is how we are going to play with this vehicle very very important i just wanted to share with you um this situation to make sure that before we start talking about uh, the frontal armor of this vehicle inspecting the armor and talking about what we need for consumables and equipment and stuff i wanted to make sure that if you want to go for this vehicle make sure that uh, this playstyle fit to you back to the garage now we're gonna see what we need uh, for equipment while playing with this vehicle so i'm going for gun rama and with that i will have 3.5 kdpm six seconds reload time supercharger very important refined gun for the better precision i'm going for toolbox improved assembly to have more hit points we have anyway no armor on our hull we have only armor on the turret and you cannot really maximize a lot the the frontal turret so go for improved assembly um, defense system improved optics and action accelerator and also the high-end consumables consumables i'm using safety first twice the repair kit and as well Aline. provisions i'm using improved fuel and coke to have better accuracy and more dpm okay so far so good let's have a look um, at our gun depression it's really insane would will help us a lot to play that playstyle what I what I showed you in the beginning of this video um, that uh, yes yeah, sneaky hull down playstyle pick your shot fall back and keep moving all the time in your hull down position and we got really an insane gun flexibility for that the mobility is also not ba that bad we can reach 50 km per hour but I even did sometimes more than 50 km per hour insane gun precision gun dispersion is really insane 0 0.285 and we can deal per shot um, let's have a look here 350 um, damage per shot which is also not bad six seconds reload time 
the um, penetration is not the best but we have a good precision so that we can really aim good on the weak spots of our yeah well armored or enhanced armored tds and heavy so it's not a problem with this vehicle if you have you struggle to penetrate just surround them or flank them from the side so that you can penetrate the side or the back of the heavies and the tds so it's really not a problem at all with this vehicle I'm not gonna talk a lot about the armor, so this is how it's gonna look like for most of the heavies and, uh, and TDs. So, as you can see here, the, the hull, if we are on flat ground, everybody will pen you. So, just show your turret and hope that uh, they will not, not aim on those weak spots. You can go for more safety if you go as, a, as, a, as you saw in a summit of a hill or in high ground and with that you will be angling your tank like that, your frontal tank and sneak your shots thank to your uh, 10 degrees of gun depression. So uh, this is how we should play with this vehicle. Go on high ground, go on uh, hills, summit of hills and sneak your shots like this. Go to that uh, yeah 10 degrees, sneak a shot then fall back. So that sneaky style will allow you to really bounce a lot of damage and um, do your damage without being damaged and, uh, and, and block the damage from the enemy. Against um, medium tanks, we are also pretty safe, okay? Um, we have also a high probability that if you go to your hull down position, play hull down like that, um, uh, to bounce a lot of damage, to block a lot of damage, but if you go on flat ground and push on the enemy, be sure that you are going to be penned because the hull here, as we can see here, it's all green, it's easy to pen for everyone. So here we go, the first battle I've got for you is in Ghost Factory, already the first sneaky shot on that TVP 5051, then rolling back, hiding my side and my front turret behind this rock. I'm seeing that we got only one teammate going medium side and it's the i7 calling for help. I'm not stupid, I will not go right, right there and push on him because I will be just penetrated from everywhere. We got the Death Star waiting there, we got the FV4005, so uh, it's gonna be stupid if I push and help the IS-7 right now, but I will try to help him somehow, but otherwise. So here we go, I know the weak spot of the E-100 even without seeing it, and boom, another sneaky shot, wall back, the FV-4005 gonna pen me again, I think. Thank you, uh, Minotauri, for blocking me. Um, yeah, that's really, that's really what was really re very helpful. Actually, if I fall back and the Minotauri wasn't uh, blocking me like that, maybe I could, uh, yeah, um, don't take the second shot from the FV4005. But yeah, we know all we love such teammates who block you while you are trying to run away. But yeah, whatever happens, that will not stop me to keep pushing another sneaky shot on the FV215B. Looking around me, what's going on around me, there is no threat there, so I will keep pushing and uh, let's see what's going on here. So, another sneaky shot on that T95, another player who blocked me, thanks a lot again, Death Star. Oh man, I really love, love those players in my team. So let's keep going. Let's try to sneak another shot, nope, maybe now, nope, also too late. Oh, Grill is coming. I'm lucky he didn't hit me from the bottom. That's gonna hurt a lot. So now, let's see what's going on. Let's see what we can do here. I will try to sneak a shot on that Super Conqueror Rex. So on this time, as you can see, I'm playing not that very aggressive because it depends always look at this sneaky shot boom impossible shot because as i told you it's always uh, depends on the situation on the battlefield of course we can play that hull down as i told you but in, in this situation in this map that wasn't possible because my team was camping and i cannot push alone and take all the damage um, for my team and then just dying after a few seconds so sometimes you have also to decide to fall back and play more careful more sneaky in order not to being destroyed because the meds and the light if you will be destroyed in the beginning of the battle you will lose the battle to let's say 70% because the meds and the lights should stay alive till the end they are very important for a team actually everyone should try to stay alive until the end but the meds are very important that they, that they stay alive 
so that in the end you are going to be the game changer use your speed to surprise the heavies like this here we go i'm pushing full risk on the e100 i know he got a, a long willow time so i will just push on him and surround him very easy and this is what you always can do with this vehicle surround heavies and tank destroyers we have enough speed for that just to troll them and here we go 3.4 nearly k of damage and third class mastery back so the second battle also in ghost factory and i choose extra again a battle in ghost factory to show you the other playstyle on this map and that's the aggressive playstyle and going very fast to your hull down position and from there sneaking a lot of damage here we go fire fall back it's already 620 damage blocked do the same drive forward fire a shot roll back this is what we're going to do the most of the time while playing with this vehicle going very fast spot for your team sneak some shots and now okay i'm seeing that we are somehow stuck there i can't no more deal damage because i pushed the enemy vehicles back what i'm trying to do right now is to surprise them from the other side and i always do that because now the enemy tanks are busy with my uh yeah heavies right there and what i'm gonna do right now is to surprise them from the other side on my way chasing the bc25 here we go boom give him another shot and boom he got some help was he his teammates the type 71 but i will also receive some help from my teammates soon so that was really that wasn't expected at all that the type 71 will come out of nothing but i think he was afk and he started playing too late but here we go let's finish this dude first i mean we got a faster reload time you got a better mobility and i got now my teammate who is trying to help me the object 260 thank you mate boom and now let's go full risk and finish him boom perfect 2.3 or 4 nearly k of damage and that was very close to die so thanks for my dude right there who helped me in the last situation in the last seconds so now we are uh, low hp that means adrenaline is uh, yeah activated automatically that means we have automatically better reload time faster reload time and more tpm and i will use this to deal more damage in the end of the, of the battle but without being spotted because i'm just one shot and if i will be spotted right now i will be just finished very fast but i will try to stay alive and help my team or to make sure to to help my team and to win this battle so i'm already spotted but i'm seeing that the enemy vehicles are busy with my teammates i'm not the main target for them i'm just sneaking coming from the back from distance and look at this how unlucky it was i missed a lot of shot and i if i didn't missed those shot i think uh, this battle would be easy uh, maybe first or ace tank a mastery batch here we go another sneaky shot on the tt mk2 always keep your eyes on the other tanks the yacht panzer is still busy with my teammate he can't right now fire on me he can't shoot on me he is still busy so he's not a threat for me so i can just keep pushing and here we go already the yacht panzer the Yacht Bunker E100 is destroyed and we won this battle. So that was also a mix between playing hell down, then playing sneaky, then in the end playing aggressive. So that's what we can really do with this vehicle. It's insane in the right hands. We have really to, to master the play style of this vehicle in order to perform uh, such kind of performances and such kind of battles. Last but least, this battle here in Falls Creek you know this side i'm going medium side but i'm seeing that there is nobody here so uh, what i'm gonna do is just keep moving if you just stay there you will be useless for your team so we have if we are in this position and there is nobody there don't stay there and do nothing but keep moving very fast and uh, <clears throat> try so fast as possible to help your team and this is very good for me because my heavies are already spotting the heavies for me and i'm right here from far far away i can just sneak my shots in peace from distance and uh, yeah easy farming the t57 is pushing on me right now i'm spotted but i got that fv402 and the other side helping me also so uh, i think we should finish the t57 very easy now he will be more 
I think after that, um, focusing on that FV402 because he got um, less hit points than me, he will focus focus on him, and I will just easy now uh, play more whiskey and sneak my shots and I will be very decisive to finish the T57 while he is busy to finish my teammate. So here we go, another sneaky shot on him and another one easy farming. So moving forward, sneak your shot, fall back again because you don't know even I'm here, I'm safe against the T57 but the T57 spotted me. That means um, somebody else from the other side of the map he can maybe see me and he can uh, fire on me that's why it's very important even you feel safe actually but always have that reflex to fire your shot and while reloading go to a safe position um, hide your, your your weak spots and then go out again because if you stay there exposing um, your everything uh, of your armor in the middle of the map while farming someone you will for sure take a shot from another enemy vehicle so always think about um, even you feel safe because that I don't know the, the enemy what you are right now uh, aiming on him or attacking is reloading or he can't shoot on you somebody else can shoot on you so always fire your shot go in safety then go out again always hide behind rocks behind buildings don't expose your your side or don't expose your armor uh, in the middle of the map so always try to find obstacles to hide uh, yourself behind them while you are reloading or just keep moving keep relocating so that the enemy will have it very hard for you to aim on you and to deal to deal damage on you and at the same time you will save your hit points for the end of the battle for such moments where you can be very effective and yeah help your team to win battles it's all about winning and now i know that the object 752 is reloading he fired his two shots and here we go easy finishing he got a long reload time and uh, with that finished the um object 752 already 4k of damage dealt and again in this battle the same play style as we should play with it sneaky then aggressive in the end and with that we won this battle with 4k damage and 300 or nearly 400 of damage blocked second class mastery badge a lot of credits and the best player of my team for sure yeah guys that's it for this video we arrive now to the end of this session i hope you enjoyed watching it if yes don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you are new watching my content and see you soon for sure in the next video guys bye bye